Hello, my name is Devin, and I'm going to do the two-minute Book of Mormon challenge. Uh, I've read the Book of Mormon several times, and I know that it's a book about families. Uh, a family lived in Jerusalem about 600 years before Jesus Christ, and the Lord led them to the Americas. They built a ship and sailed from the Old World to the Americas and set up a civilization here. And eventually, the Savior Jesus Christ, after he was uh, crucified appeared to the people here in the Americas and established his church and he called apostles and he gave them priesthood authority and taught them how to baptize. Uh, just like in the Bible as well, prophets prophesied uh, in the Americas. The last prophet in the Book of Mormon was a man named Moroni and his father was Mormon, uh, which is where the word Mormon comes from. He was in a prophet, a man, uh, that wrote in this book and compiled the records. Well, his son Moroni wrote something that I want to read. In Mer Mormon chapter 9, verse 31, he wrote, Condemn me not because of mine imperfection, neither my father because of his imperfection, neither them who have written before him, but rather give thanks unto God that he hath made manifest unto you our imperfections, that ye may learn to be more wise than we have been. The purpose of history and of scripture is so that future generations can learn from the joys and sorrows of past generations. Uh, we read the Book of Mormon every day in the morning and in the evening as a family so that our kids can learn these messages and these lessons. I know that the Book of Mormon is true. Uh, I know that those that read it will get closer to Jesus Christ and I'm grateful that I have it to learn from uh, today. And I'm under two minutes, so I'll stop.